This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue Unlearning the World with Book 2. In Chapter 7, this is Section 3. Releasing Roles, God Asks No Sacrifice. Hi, David. I'm having a really hard time with the idea of letting go of the mother story. I have children at home and elderly parents that I help. I am afraid that if I give my life into the hands of the Holy Spirit, I will happily dance away with him and leave them to struggle on by themselves. That thought breaks my heart. Interestingly enough, I have recently begun to doubt my success in my chosen role. My son is angry, bitter and filled with rage despite a near idyllic childhood. When you said that with the Holy Spirit obligations will be met as long as the belief in obligations exists, does that apply to emotional obligations? Any thoughts you can share? will be accepted with an open heart. Beloved One Emotional obligations that are interpersonal are dissolved away by the miracle. There are only two emotions that spring from opposing thought systems. And of the two, only love is real. One is always responsible for one's state of mind and this is actually one's only responsibility as a teacher of God. The beatitudes of happiness, peace, joy and freedom are reflections of the one true emotion, love. This is God's will and nothing else exists. The ego is the belief that love has an opposite and that fear can be fragmented into many different forms of emotion. Anger, guilt, pain, shame, envy, greed, etc. Whenever you feel as if following the Holy Spirit would leave a loved one abandoned to struggle and suffer, allow your mind to be reminded that God asks no sacrifice. The temporal will not last and therefore is without value. The eternal lasts forever and therefore is all value. This is the great emotional reversal for the mind asleep believes it has thrown away eternity and must search for keep and maintain the temporal for its survival and sustenance. The miracle retranslates the symbols of the world and demonstrates that nothing is ever lost. Only the anticipation of awakening is frightening. Awakening is always loving. The ego interprets the ego interprets awakening as death. For in awakening there is no ego. When the fear of loss arises in awareness, step back and call on the Holy Spirit for the comfort of God. As you align with the miracle, The experience will show you that there is nothing to fear. Your family is the family of God in spirit and divine mind and therefore has no beginning or end.